Okay, so on this one, I would try to keep it simple. So I need to draw segment AB congruent to segment DE. So I'm going to kind of just do them in the same location. There's segment AB, segment DE. So A, B, D, E. Then I'm going to draw segment BC congruent to EF. So these are congruent. Now B, e, B, C, I'll draw it like that. And EF, I'll draw like that. And those are congruent. And now they're triangles, so I'm going to connect the third side. And then here it tells me that segment <coughs> AC is congruent to segment FD. So AC is congruent to segment FD. So those triangles are congruent. Okay. So I'm just going to write down triangle ABC is congruent to triangle. Now I got to be really careful here because I got to mark the same the angle that corresponds with angle A has to be marked first. So angle A and angle D correspond with each other. They're both in between the one dash and the three dash sides. So I would mark D first because A was marked first. Now B is the second letter, so it has it B is the angle made up of the one side, the one dash side, and the two dash side. <coughs> one dash side, two dash side, E. So E would go next, and then F. But I want to double check and make sure. So C is between the two dash side and the three dash side. Two dash side, three dash side, F. So that would be F. So those would be my congruent statements. So the order in which I write the second one is absolutely a necessity. I need to know, because of the way it's written, I know that angle A and angle D are congruent, B and E are congruent, angle C and angle F are congruent. I also know that the length of segment AB is congruent to segment DE, segment BC is congruent to EF, and so on. So now the way I know this is true is because these three sides correspond and are congruent to these three sides. So my congruence pattern would be side, side, side. Now let's do number 17. So again, let's go with AB and XY. They're congruent, it says. Now it says that segment BC is congruent to YC. So I'm going to draw BC congruent to YZ and th mark those two congruent. Mark my third side because they're triangles and now it tells me that angle C is congruent to angle Z. So now those are not congruent. I mean we have side side angle if we went side here go side and then side and the angle is outside in order for this to work, the only way it would work, if I have two sides, is the angle would have to be in between the two sides. So since our an angles are not in between the two sides, then there's no relationship because side-side angle doesn't work. So these would be not congruent. And let's try one more. So we have side AB and they say it's congruent to XY then we have BC is congruent to YZ and finish off our triangle and now they tell me that angle B is congruent to angle Y so angle B and angle Y are congruent so now we have side, angle, side, side, angle, side. They're both side, angle, sides. So my congruent pattern would be side, angle, side. And then I would just mark triangle B, C, A is congruent to triangle. Now the, I have to mark, find it. What angle corresponds with angle B? Y corresponds with angle B. But side corresponds with angle C. 
So for angle C, I have angle, two dashes, angle. So angle, two dashes, angle, that would be Z. And then, over here, corresponding with A, would be angle, one dash, A, angle, one dash, X. So now, it's really easy to see because I drew them corresponding, you know, lining them upright. If they give you two triangles and they're rotated around and stuff like that, locating the angles like I just did would be very helpful. And that's that.